Well, we want to see not just me, we want to see David. <laughs> there we go. He'll pop up in a minute. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Sorry we're late. Um, I slept in. Plain and simple. I'm very tired. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, I have a stream. So I apologize for you having to wait. Welcome to the stream for uh, Trekking the World. I'm Mandy Hutchinson, and I'm here with... I'm David. Uh, uh, you may also know me as Eclectic Camel on Twitter. Or uh, Twitch. You know, they sound the same. <laughs> I know, right? There's so many things to consider. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah. So, as I said before, we're playing Trekking the World. This one hasn't been too bad to play live. Uh, David, what did you think? I thought it was pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. It actually reminds me of sort of a Ticket to Ride Plus-ish type game. Yeah. Uh, just in the way that you're sort of moving around. and You're not building roots necessarily, but uh, you are trying to do the same kind of idea of, like, you know, set collection and uh you know achieving instead of like tickets you're getting uh destinations and stuff like that and just touring around the world and i dig it i like it yeah i think it's great if you have uh a lot of people that you're teaching games to frequently this is a great one to have in that rotation i think absolutely i agree with you 100 percent. and i didn't even say hello to my chat i apologize for being late but i did not say hello hello beautiful people thank you for joining I'm taking a book out of brad mondo's page i don't know if you watch brad mondo but every time he starts a stream he's like hello beautiful and he does this really and it makes you it's like oh are you talking to me <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't do it again what nothing oh. <laughs> <laughs> like wait a second i heard myself <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you get you get uh, where I'm going. So welcome, beautiful people. Thank you for joining. So thank you, Brad Mondo, for those words of encouragement. I like to share those with you. So we're here to play games. So uh, yeah, so um, I haven't given you starting cards yet, David. So let's have not. scooch on over. Actually, let's go to the main game. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll just wait for your screen to load. It takes a little minute there. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so we've got the main board laid out here. You'll see my hand many times <laughs> in the game just because I have a few screens going on there. And um, some of the cards are going to be playing with. So I'll kind of do a close up on the board so you can kind of see. So you can see these are the locations with the, the cubes. And these are supposed to be, is it souvenirs? The little cubes are representing. So we can visit these places yes. and get these. And we'll have cards uh, such as these where um, if you get the most of a specific color, then you can get some points at the end of the game. But this can go back and forth between players during the game, right? Because some people can yes. have more than others. Um, so you can see that. And then there are some tiles here. If you clear out an area, you're going to be able to get that tile which has points on it. So you'll get those at the end of the game. Also notice airport locations when you land on one of those on your and you're there at the end so starting your next turn you can use that to jump to another airport location okay so those are some things to consider uh let's pop on over to up here so these are the journey log cards this is part of one of the actions that we're going to be doing um, which allows you to get rid of two of hopefully you can see this way up here these cards uh, of the same color, and you get to do the action that's on the card, but you still need to meet the requirements for payment and whatnot on the card. So those are some, this is part of an action that you will see in the game. All right, let's pop on over to the main screen, get David loaded up on there momentarily. And I'm back. You're back. I know. It takes a little bit of time there. <laughs> so you'll see at the top <laughs> of the screen, this is a really big board. So I had to kind of put some of it down here uh, above my player stuff. So these are the cards I showed you earlier where, you know, someone has the most crafts, so most yellow cubes, most white cubes, and so forth. So those are here. We'll be passing those along depending on who gets the most cubes. These are used for travel, these cards here, or for destination cards, because destination cards have points on them. We want those so we can win the game, you know? Uh, apparently, I'm not very good at these, so we'll see how this pans out. So that's something else that <laughs> I want to do. Ooh. No hand limit, which is great, so you can get lots yeah. of these cards, kind of like Ticket to Ride. I don't think there's a hand limit in Ticket to Ride, is there? No. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Uh, we start with a little suitcase. We have our person that we're going to be putting on the map shortly. Um, I have mm -hmm. my handy-dandy player aid here. I like a good player aid. That's nice. Even in this simple, is a nice player aid. Even in simple games, it's useful. And uh, yeah. so these are my cards. They're supposed to be secret. I will show you David's because he has to see them, and he's going to be pulling them out of his deck. So I'm going to be putting them here and try not to look. So these are your starting ones, uh, David. I'm not looking. Can you see okay. those? Uh, very, very nice. Better than what you gave me last night, <laughs> for sure. I, I reshuffled <laughs> again, just to be sure. So David's cards I will be kind of putting over here. Um, just to keep track of them. Just so we don't have in the deck, we're getting more of a certain color, that wouldn't really be fair. 
Okay, so I started last night, David, but how about you you start? So you get to place your sure. your your uh, person. Well, if you could help me out, I'm, uh, I can't quite see the destination card. So if you could tell me what those are, I can uh, set those over up on my side as well. Yes, I'm sorry. So the first one um, uh, that is on your farthest left is Teotihuacan. Mm-hmm. We all know that name. Uh, yep. Mysore Palace, and which is cool about these cards, they have pronunciations. Uh, I don't think all of them are on here. Like this one isn't, but some of them are. So Mysore Palace. Okay. Uh, Alhambra. Oh, another name we know. Another name we know, yeah. And Cappadocia. I hope I said that right. Cappadocia? Cappadocia? Cappadocia. Yeah. Uh, you are way better on the pronunciations than I am. So, Well, I'm Although, trying to look uh, at it, though. So hold on a second. It has one C, because if it's two Cs, I believe it's like a ch sound in Italian. I'm going to say it's Cappadocia. We're going to go with that. It has a double K in the pronunciation on the back. Oh, so I was wrong completely. Cappadocia. <laughs> what part of the world is it? Let's take a look. Oh, that's why. Okay, that explains it. Nope, nope, nope. That makes sense. See, I'm so used to Spanish, French, and all other languages. I forget that there are some languages that C's are hard K's. So, yeah. All right. I try my best. I have friends from all over the world, so I get them to teach me certain pronunciations. And uh, it's useful. So there you go. I learned something new today. All right. So, yeah, the pronunciation is great. I see people on there like... um, you know, Tia Tawakan is one we know and people, because it's a game, but I mean, it's nice to kind of say, oh, that's how you properly pronounce it. Because I have to tell you, I'm a stickler for that. I really hate when people spell my name wrong, first of all, because it's really not that hard. For the first time, sure. Right. But after that, and we know each other for a year or so, you got to learn that. My real name is not hard, but people still spell it wrong. So it's just one of those things. It's a conscious effort. And it's like this, you know, I try to, oh, I said it wrong. Let me learn it better for next time. It's just to show some appreciation. So I, I appreciate that they did that. And as a teacher, important. Okay, enough blabbering. David, <laughs> you're up. Oh, I, I have them backwards. Cappadocia is on the five point. Yes, I'm sorry. So I should explain that to everybody. And you know what? I'll put that there. It's a bit easier to see. Uh, the ones on the end here, when you do complete these cards, like you get to the destination and you're like, great, I have the cards to spend to do it. If it's in one of these slots, you either get an additional three points or five points. So this is kind of like a century, century spice. Very much like century. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. So you get to place yep. first. I'm assuming I, um, it's funny. I thought it was um, like different placement, but no, it says place first. And then, yeah, you know, some games you place first and then um, like it goes in clockwise order or goes in reverse turn order. But uh, no. So one of the main reasons, since I am placing first, one of the main reasons that I wanted to look at the destination spots is that uh, I can see that. Two of my destinations are in the same continent, so maybe I want to start near there. Maybe I want to start, you know, adjacent to it, so I can kind of move in, gather some cards uh, to be able to complete these uh, once I move in. Uh, especially considering the five pointer is uh, that's Asia. I assume it is Asia. Where are you? Oh, um, uh, okay. Yep. So I think. What do I need? Um, let's start in, I'm actually going to start in the Europe airport. In the Europe airport. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm trying to see what's over there. Hold on. Let me look. Ooh. Well, excuse moi. Boop. Boop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. And la 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 la. Yeah. Cause that's down there. Okay. That's good. You're comfortable with this decision. Uh, I think so. Okay. I, this way I can get a lot of uh, souvenirs, kind of make my way over there, maybe get some cards I need for the destinations. I think it's a good starting spot. Okay, cool. Let me see. And, I mean, you want to also look at the destination cards because uh, – this is for all of you watching – because you kind of say, hmm, which ones I want to kind of keep my eyes on. Well, I don't want to start there. That's why I started last time, and I really liked that spot. So I'm a little – Not happy about that, (laughs) actually. But, 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 you know what? I'm actually going to start here in Africa. There we go. I think that's good. I like this. Okay. So you're up first. All right. Uh, I also just want to take a quick moment to say hi to everybody in chat. I see Amanda Panna just popped in. Uh, Of course, uh, one of my good friends, Herbert Milanis, is here. And uh, a a lot of great people. Okay. Um, all right. 
So uh, I'm going to reference my thing here because I see it a little bit more clearly. Uh, let's see. We have some yellow cubes over that way. Um, what do I have in my hand? That's important. Yes. Um, because the number on the card that you spin has to be the exact amount that you're going to move. I can't spend a three and then move two. Uh -huh. um, I have to, and unfortunately, I have a lot of uh, a particular number I don't know if I necessarily want to move that much. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to do a little switcheroo here. I think I like this better. Okay. No, yeah, keep going. I'm just uh, switching my sure. positioning in the uh, the old game here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to spend a three, and I'm kind of going to go roundabout to my location. I'm going to go north one, but then I'm going to go south two to end up at uh, Acropolis of Athens. Okay, so let me see here. So... Sorry, say that again. Oh, here, here you want to go to, right? Yeah, so I'm going up one. I'm going up one and down two, basically. But okay. I'm going to end up at the Acropolis. So you're going to get the yellow. And then what did you spend? Because I actually probably should uh, dispose of those in case we have to reuse the deck. A uh, yellow three. A yellow three? Okay. Well, I hope I don't have to. You know what? I'll just keep it aside. And then, so you just keep track of the ones you're discarding? Yeah. And then let me know and I'll make sure they get pulled because I don't want to look at your hand. So, okay. Right. So I pulled a yellow cube for you there. Okay, and I'm now going to grab some cards. Um, I'm actually going to take that. Uh, hmm. I guess it doesn't particularly matter. I'll take the purple two. Mm hmm. And that refills right away. Right. Mm hmm. And then I will take the red one. Okay, there we go. And that also refills. Okay, and Amanda Panda, welcome. And no, this is not a cooperative game. So that's why I can't look at, I'm trying not to look at David's cards and showing them. I think you might have missed the first little bit there. So yes, it is not cooperative. Okay, so now let's see here. What do I want to do? Okay, so first things first, I have to move. Let's look at my cards. Boop, boop. Wow, this is not great. Not great at all. But I want I want souvenirs. I want to get one of those cards early because I know David is all about that life. So I'm going to <laughs> spend uh, this one. The color doesn't matter, but the movement does. And I'm going to move south down here to Victoria Falls. And I'm going to take the red cube and pop it in there because I want to work my way toward one of these to the cards here, but we can't get it until we have at least two. So not quite. And then my next action, I'm just going to draw two cards, but oof, there's some good stuff here. Very nice indeed. I'm actually going to take this purple three. Hello. And a new one comes out. Oh, very, I like, I like, I, but I need a specific color. This is why I'm a little like, what's happening? Uh, I'm going to take this purple three. Please don't be the color I wanted. That's acceptable. All right. So that's uh, my turn. So I just decided to draw two cards. Okay. Um, well, you're not going to like this very much. <laughs> I'm going to spend... <laughs> Great! I'm going to spend a green three. A green three. Okay. Yep. Uh, I am going to move three spaces to Cappadocia. Okay. So that's going to be one, two, three. Yep. Um, what color cube is on it's that? It's a red cube. Uh, that's unfortunate yeah. for me. And uh, I am now going to spend a green and a red. Uh, so a red one and a green three. Yes. And uh, I get Cappadocia. <laughs> you get Cappadocia. What is this? <laughs> that is way too early for this. Okay, so, well, this is a, it's a good learning experience for everybody. So what ends up happening is David gets Cappadocia, and he gets five additional points because it's in that slot. So I'll just slide that over here to keep track of the what you've gotten. And then what ends up happening is everything slides down. So now Alhambra is worth uh, a little bit more because it's close to those tokens. And what's our new location? Taj Mahal. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So there we go. So I don't know how well people at home can see, but uh, the art on these cards is amazing. Yeah. Look at that. It's... That is incredible. You can hang that on your wall easily. This is a, a very beautiful game. 
There we go. I realized my comments weren't even showing up. What's happening? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Yeah, the art's super nice. Well, I'm assuming totally. that's the uh, end of your uh, your turn. I mean, I, <laughs> I just scored like, you know, 15 points. That, that seems like a good turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, <laughs> now I have a lot of catching up to do. I'm just jealous because now I'm like, what can I do? Although, oh, I do want to. Oh, no, did that? I didn't even have a plan, okay? So I need a minute. I need a minute to, to reassess the situation here. I could do that. Can I do that, so, though? Uh, hmm. so addressing chat real quick. Uh, Herbert, I, I think, uh, considering your situation, uh, I think this game would actually be perfect for you and your wife. I think uh, I think you guys would enjoy this quite a bit. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that card, though. Oh, I'm in such a horrible spot. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spend <laughs> this card here to move two, okay. and I'm going to go through the airport one and go to the Pyramids of Giza and take this red cube, hello, which gets me most clothing for now. For now, for now, for now. For now. So we'll just hang on to that for the time being. So that was my movement. You must move. And now... I have to do an action, so I could do a journey log, but nothing up there is the action of my dreams. So I will, in fact, draw mm -hmm. cards, two cards. So I'll draw this one. Son of a biscuit. And I'm going to do one off the top because I need a certain thing and I'm not getting it. No. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. There's no crying and trekking around the world. Apparently, there's lots of crying on my end. <laughs> it's horrible. Horrible. Uh, um, all right. So, what is that? That is... Well, I've only got one card left in my hand. Uh, it is a two. I think I'm going to move over to Terracotta Army. And I'll take that yellow. Okay, Terracotta Army is... Oh, yeah, I see it. So one, two, and you're going to take the yellow, which gives you most, most crafts. crafts. Fancy. Let's toss that up there. Okay. <laughs> I see a very nice comment. I'm so cute this morning in my dismay. Oh, my god. In gosh. your dismay. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that <laughs> me all the time? I'm sorry. I'm getting right. a little wild. What, Did you not uh, see my shirt? You? you can't read it from here. It says, I'm in my happy place. And it's a little panda bear at the computer. So, this is my happy place. <laughs> sorry, David. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I do like your shirt. It's, it's very cool. Thank you. Um, uh, I don't like any of those. Where? What? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need a plan now. Um, actually, that's fine. Let me take a blue two. Okay, blue two, and that's going to refill. Yep. And I will also take... Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's not what I want at all. Uh, I'll take one off the top of the deck. Okay, so here you go. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. All right, so you can see we're doing it virtually. I mean, yeah, I can't look at the card, but it's a simple here. This is what it is. David pulls out of his deck, and he just keeps track of discards, so if we have to get back into the deck, we're pulling all the right cards in. Right. Okay, so that's you. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, ugh. Can I make it there? Hold on. I need a minute. I think I miscalculated. While you're thinking, uh, something else I thought I'd throw out there is that for movement, at the beginning of your turn, if you start on one of the airports, uh, you can actually move to an airport in a different continent. Uh, so you're not so, uh, you know, landlocked, let's say in one area necessarily, if you really want to jump across the world really quickly. Um, and that is independent of your other moves. So you could do your airport jump and then, you know, spend a card and still move within the, the area. So it's not like pandemic where you're kind of stuck where you are, unless you have to have the exact right card in your hand. Okay. This is really upsetting because I'm like one thing short to do the thing that I want to do. Ah. Saki, do. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> uh, um, oh. Hey, that was almost a disaster. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll... Ugh, good gravy. I'm not happy about this at all, because if I do that... No, I'm not getting anything. Ugh, boo worms. 
well, this is not going well for what I want to do. So with that being said, and you have Amanda, to move... we're going to need a Boo Ernst command in chat. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, go ahead. That's okay. I was going to say, you have to move exact, exactly the mm-hmm. amount. So I'm going to spend yep. this blue two. It okay. pains me to do so, um, which means I'm literally getting nothing. So one, two, and I oh, will... Hey. Oh, hey, I know that place. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you can't backtrack. Eh? You can't do this whole like back and forth thing. So yeah, <sighs> makes it hard. So I'm going to grab this one, the blue one. Oh, come on! <laughs> why? I have this song in my head. Tell me why. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Oi! And I'll take this one. How many times do I have to tell you why? Okay, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> oh, good morning. Uh, uh, well, I just call him Pook. He uh, pops in my Marvel oh! Champions uh, strings every once in a while. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Nice to, thanks um, for joining. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, while you're doing that, I'm getting annoyed that my camera is crooked, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm so sorry, everybody. It's actually driving me bonkers. <laughs> I'm just trying not to look at it. No, I know, and I can't. It's it's being problematic today, and I'm I'm so sorry. It's actually very distracting. <laughs> oh man, that moment you want to just move one, and you don't have a one in your hand. That's exactly was... what happened to me. <laughs> exact opposite of last night when we were doing a uh, test run. I had nothing but ones almost the entire game. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a it was, uh Although being on the other end also has its disadvantages, as I'm finding out. Yes. Um, I could start on that, but I don't care about it. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> I can't move to where you are. You can't occupy the same space as another player. No, you cannot. And I don't even think you can go through the space either, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. All right. Um, you keep doing the things. I'm actually just going to take this off. It's actually pulling on it. So there you go. Do the things while I fix the things. Oh, so sure. much better. There we go. Oh, sweet Lord. <laughs> What's on the table? Yellows and greens. That is not what I want. There. I know people are breathing a sigh of relief as they're like, it's straight. <laughs> oh, sugar and spice. Um, ugh. What? I mean, I guess between the two of these, that's more valuable. So... I will spend the blue two. Mm-hmm. Um, I will move to Taj Mahal. Okay. I'll take so a white cube. So that's going to be one, two. Yeah, so you're going to take a white cube. And, okay, we're well, not winning in that yet, so that's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yet, I say yet. And uh, I'm there. I'm going to take... Uh, let me take that green too. Mm-hmm. Yep. And once that gets replaced, I'll make up my mind on the next one. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> boo earns. See, it's a lot of boo earns. You know what? I will. I will take the red one. Believe it or not, I will take the red one. All right. I don't think that's bad. I mean, reds haven't really come out that much, so it's probably not a bad idea. No, okay. and three of our four locations up top require a red card, so. Exactly. Oh, okay. Now now I'm in it to win it. Here we go. Here we go. So. Uh, oh, good morning, Jeremy. Thanks for joining. Have you played this one? I'm, I'm curious to hear what you say. I think that it's light. It's fun. I think you would like it. Nice educational type game, I feel. You know, some geography. Um, okay. Good morning, Jeremy. So my mandatory move, I'm going to spend, remember that one blue I picked up? And you said, what? Why did you pick up that one blue? That's because I need to get my little buns down here to my sore palace. <laughs> did you really just jump in my way? That's so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you going there? I have been... Do you not see the amount of cards in my hand right now? I have been trying to get there for like three turns. <laughs> So now, here is where I'm actually going to use, and I'll show you the cards. I'm going to swap up to that screen. So you see the card that says, 
uh, take a tour for one fewer icon and gain three points, I'm doing that. So what that means is... I mean, it's easier when you have the deck in your hand, I guess. Okay, whoa, whoa, la. Just calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Let me have my moment. So I can spend... You have to spend two cards that are the same. So I'm actually going to spend two blue... They don't, don't worry about the numbers. You just want to see the colors to do that, right. to take that action. Okay, because you still have to move, which I did first. Took the journey log action. But now, for my sword palace, I need two purple cards and a red. Well, I don't have the red, but I do have two purple cards because it says that I can take it for one fewer icon. So I can not. I don't have to pay that red one. So that's going to happen yep. there. I'm in my sword palace. Oh, but wait, there's more. And not only is it worth 18 points at the end of the game, I get an additional three because it's in that slot. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Sorry. I'm a little excited about that. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing. So let's do that. And then these are going to slide on over. Slatty, slatty. And then Yellowstone is coming out in the, uh, in the, pile, the, the row closest to the, the spot closest to the deck. So in chat, Herbert Bolanis asks where everybody would like to travel once, uh, ah. you know, COVID restrictions are are down. Uh, me and my fiance were actually planning on going on the BGG cruise up in the Mediterranean. I think it started in like Barcelona and like went over to like France and like part of Italy. Oh, nice. Um, that sounds great. Yeah. I don't know if they're ever going to bring that back, but whether they do or not, I would still really like to make that cruise because we were very excited about that. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Yeah. How about you, Manny? Oh my goodness. I travel so much for the conventions. Like I really missed my trip to Essen because it's not it's not even so much the going to Essen, which I love, but I get to spend time with the Lutzas, which are uh Dave and Ilka, and they have their own channel on Twitch and you know, you see them a lot, the Dice Tower stuff. So they're they're everywhere. They're really nice people, they're a really nice family, and they're so kind. They let me stay there. Suzanne comes, like we hang out, and that's like the my favorite. And they take me all over. So um I would like to see more of Europe. I have not seen very yeah. much of Europe, so that would be somewhere. And eventually, I would like to make my way to somewhere in Africa because I have a few friends that live all over, like, you know, South Africa. I have a friend from sure. uh, Zambia. So these are places I just, I'd love to just visit. It'd be cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, oh, you just did your amazing turn. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm winded from <laughs> the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm wondering if I can move through you. No, I don't think you can. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, okay. The first thing I opened to was, yep, was a I big cannot, X. So. <laughs> no. A big X on <laughs> a triple uh, X. Boop. Okay, I've been watching like old episodes of like WWF. Okay, so just ignore me. <laughs> all right, so that is actually a problem. Uh, and it's oh, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I needed a win. I needed a win. <laughs> I will spend this red one and I will move to the yellow cube that is adjacent to me. Okay. Uh, that puts me so one further temples. on the yellow. Yes, it does. So, yep. Yeah, so, David just gets more of those, but um, he still holds on to that, which is just solidifying his lead. So, uh, if you guys have ever played Catan, the way these souvenirs work is identical to Longest Road. Mm -hmm. Um, once, if she has to have more yellow cubes than I do uh, in order to take this back, she can't have the same amount. So she had popped a two, um, you know, or three rather. Uh, she could have taken this back, but now that I'm a three, she'll need four in order to take it back. And uh, this is the most valuable out of the four. So. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, Jeremy. You're going back to Puerto Vallarta for your 10th anniversary. That's so nice. I know, like, hopefully, right? That's so, oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Congratulations on 10 years. Yeah, that's awesome. absolutely. Um, all right, so I'm there. Uh, I'm going to take that uh, purple one, please. Purple one, okay. Oops, let's do that. That does not go there. That goes there for you. Okay, and... I'll take the green one. The green one. Perfect. Oh, wow, that's a lot of yellow. <laughs> we don't need yellow on any of the destination cards. Enjoy your yellow. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'm in like the worst spot ever. Oh, actually, I can go above you. Yeah, so I can get that white cube if I really want it. 
which I haven't decided yet. So, well, I only have one card to spend, and it sucks because... I'm, I'm sorry, did you just complain that's a bad spot for you? I just want to make sure we're clear on that. <laughs> I did say that, and I'm not, even, <laughs> okay. I'm, not even, I'm not even ashamed to say that I said that. <laughs> what? Oh, and I'm going to be one... Oh, wow, that's garbage. Oh, no, it's not! Yes! So I'm going to spend this purple three to move three. Uh, one, two, three... So we're going to go to Fisherman's Bastion, take a blue, hello, blue souvenir. So here's a situation where I have no cards. So my, obviously my only action is to take two cards, but I don't necessarily want yellow. So I'm just going to do blind draws for this one and two. Okay. It's, it's, it's something. All right. Over to you, David. Yeah. I'm, oh, you're, I'm, you're pondering. I'm plotting something really messed <laughs> Great. up. Great. But while you're, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know. While you're thinking about that, I just got a game, and I know I'm talking about another game in a game, but, well, it's my stream, and I can do what I want. <laughs> and I got this game today in the mail, so I'm just showing it to you because this potentially will be my next solo stream. And, Jeremy, tell me if you got this one, Maglev Metro. And this is one from, um, uh, oh my gosh, my brain is blanking, uh, Bezier Games. And I played this before it was even, like, a final game. It's so good. I suck at it. So if you want a good laugh, come and watch the solo stream. <laughs> but so good. Just thought I'd throw it out there in case anyone's interested. That will probably be my next solo stream. I mean, I'm, I was going to go out on a limb and say, if we're playing a game for people who enjoy playing games, maybe they would not mind hearing about another game. Yeah, and this is it. Like, this, what we're yeah. doing here, this is not a paid thing. I'm playing this game live with you all because I enjoy the game. So if I want to talk, it's... It's my party, and I can talk about other games if I want to. Okay. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> That's right. You are the boss. I Totally. Uh, so, Poop mentions the Bloodborne uh, board game. Have you seen the size uh, of, like, people's all-in? I think Jeremy it's, uh, got it. It's huge. Yeah, it's so much stuff. I'm like, how do you even come close to playing all of that? Yeah. I'm not, And I'm not hating on anybody. If you went all-in on it and you dig it, oh, yeah. then more absolutely. power to you. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I am going to use a red two. A red two, okay. Uh, and I am going to pop down to the airport in Asia. Okay. I'm sorry, in uh, Aust Australia. Oh, yeah, I was going to say Australia, okay. Uh, how, oh, you're popping down. So how much are you spending? Sorry to get there. One, two, three. Two? Uh, oh, wait, wait. Okay. I'm sorry. I was in the different spot no, that no, I no. thought. Yeah, uh, you need, yeah, you need three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, you need three. Okay, um, that's okay. I'll go to. Uh, I'll I'll land on the. Oh man. Do I want to pay the extra car to move to the airport, or do I want to just stop and take that white cube? I think I actually want to stop and take the white cube. So okay. I'll actually stop at the Great Barrier Reef. Uh. Oh, you're doing uh, how, one two. Yep. So two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So make sure I'm on the right thing. Uh, okay. And then what's your I next? I am spin? there. I will take the white cube, which does give me most postcards. Oh, it does. I missed that conveniently. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, yes, Look you get at that. that. All right. And you got the seven, which is the yellow one, which is pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, white is the weakest out of the four, but it's still it's points. Points and, are points. Uh, <laughs> The further you go up on the souvenir track in your suitcase, uh, up to... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Whoops. <laughs> I was like, 25 points? Good Lord. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, let me change that really quick. All right, so what am I going to do? I will take... Uh, I'll go ahead and take that yellow, too. Why not? Okay, so the yellow, too. All right. And let's see what we get. A red two, eh? I mean, it's not bad. Uh, to be fair, red is there, and red is not one we've seen a lot of. It's true. I'll go ahead and gr I'll grab that red two. Okay. Cool. All right. I see people talk about Kickstarter. Oh, this is terrible. Um, and I have so many things I'm backing on Kickstarter right now. I usually avoid it. As a Canadian, Kickstarter is horribly expensive. If anyone's Australian in the chat, I'm sure they can vouch for that as well. Um, other places, I think, of the world as well. But I know for us, the dollar is not great. <laughs> So, yeah. but I've been backing a lot of like little, like I just backed a couple solo RPGs, which I'm really excited about. I know you're saying, but I thought you didn't like solo. Solo RPGs are different for me. It's like a story and I have an active imagination if you couldn't tell already. So I'm okay with it. 
<laughs> yeah. No, I I think our, the RPG uh, style games are probably best suited for solo, in my opinion. I yeah, agree I agree. So I moved one to get a blue cube, which now okay. means that I get most figurines. So now I've got the blue souvenir kind of tile there. So see how that pans out. I'm left with one card. So yeah, these cards, garbage. Although ones sometimes are useful if you just want to kind of grab cubes and stuff. So I'm not mad at it, but let me grab, let's see what's on top first. Okay. Not I feel mad. like you need a good mix of all the, the different like numbers. Yeah. For moving. I agree. And then I'm actually going to take a one. I don't Okay. I'll take this. I'll take that yellow one. It is going to bug me if it's what I think it is. Nope. We're okay. Another one. <laughs> So Jeremy's cool, saying cool. uh, the solo RPGs hit hard last month and last year too. Yeah, I didn't have funds at the time to do um, last year, but I saw a few this year that I was really interested in, like Alba, I think was one. And, um, oh, well, there's another one. Oh, it's driving. My phone's up here, so I can't use it right now. But, um, oh, what's it called? Colossal? But it's not spelt like how you think it is. It's like C-O-L-O-S-T-L-E or something. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so I backed those two, Alba and Colossal. Um, So I'm interested to see how that pans out. Um, Yeah, I love to read. I love RPGs. Sometimes I'll just buy RPG books and just read them. (laughs) So (laughs) it's a thing. Uh, Yeah, I have a ton more RPG books, and I haven't really – I haven't done it in a long time. But uh, I was thinking of actually adding that to my Twitch channel every once in a while. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. I love playing RPGs. So when people ask me, I've played a couple on Twitch and on YouTube, and I really enjoy them. It's the time, right? Yeah. So and of I'm, course we just did, you know, very light RPG uh Forgotten Waters just uh yeah. last uh last Saturday. It was exactly. A lot of fun. It was really good. All right. Uh did you you finish your turn, right? I did. <laughs> Reading, I never. Yes, that's right. Reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a one and a two. Okay. And I or hold on. I'm gonna move to the Europe airport since or no, I'm not in the airport. No. <laughs> See, this is game. No. Gotta, even though it's simple, you gotta like pay attention. It's hard. So you're like, oh shoot, I yeah. want to do this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're like, well. Yeah, fine. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a very do nothing turn. I will move one to the airport. Sometimes, though, it is required to have those turns. Oh, so. you're gonna. Mm. I don't even have mm. cards. You like seriously don't. I literally don't have okay. cards, so you're fine. Honest okay. to goodness, and I'm not just saying that. I actually just don't have cards. Okay. All right. Well, I'm there, and for my turn, uh, I will go ahead and take that purple one. Uh, yes. Okay. And let's do one off of the top. And there you go. Okay. Okay. Pull it. All right. Well, I have to move. It's a snail's pace, but I got to do it. So I will spend my one yellow. Okay. To solidify my lead on red. Uh, And that goes here. And then, and then my friend would say, no, and then. If you can tell me what movie that's from, bonus points. (laughs) And... Oh man! Yeah, you gotta think about it. Right, every time we play, I'll say, and then and he'll look. No, and then, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just draw two cards. So I'm gonna draw one off the top. Mm-hmm. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. And I will draw another one off the top. Okay. Cool. See, you can't Very think of the cool. movie, can you? You know it, but you don't know. No, what it is. I. I... Yeah, it, it's very familiar. If you told me, I'm going to hit myself or not. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not Hangover. It's not. But Is it Hangover? No, it's not. Okay, but you're in the kind hangover. of right genre yeah. of movie, I guess you could say. It's a comedy. I just can't remember like which one uh, which one it is. Kind of classic, like, you know, uh, 90s or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the right track. Yeah. So bonus points if you can yeah. help David out in the chat. Sorry, David. Do you, Go do your turn. I'm chatting away here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move to the Europe airport. Okay, so going from this airport here all Mm -hmm. the way over to here. And then I'm going to, and then. And then, (laughs) no, and then. (laughs) I am going to spend three worth of cards Mm -hmm. to move to Alhambra. Oh, okay. 
One, two, three, and you're going to take the white cube, okay. which I think solidifies your lead there with the white cubes. Let's see. Uh, and then I am going to take a tour. I'm going to spend a green and a purple, and uh, I will take Alhambra. Okay. Alhambra it is. Sorry, I was too busy thinking ahead. I'm like, what? Oh, no. So it's a 10-pointer and five points. Yeah, okay. That was, that was pretty decent. Pretty decent. Yeah. Seems okay. Yeah, seems all right. <laughs> sure. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot when I did my action, I took the three points above the card. I forgot to take the three points from doing that action. Remember when I took the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot yeah. to take the additional three points. Uh, okay, so Tia to walk on. Let's slide that over. And Oh, I've been here. Chichen Itza. I loved it. It was so great. So Chichen Itza uh, was fantastic. So... I mean, look at these. Look at these. They're very nice, the cards. I know. Did someone say the quote is from the Lion King one and a half? <laughs> <laughs> no. <That's funny>. No. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. So it's my turn. <laughs> yes, um, it is. That's very funny. Okay. So I'm actually going to spend two to move okay. down to Sagrada Familia. And I'm going to take this yellow cube. But, oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> I've completed getting all the cubes out of that area. Thank you for your help, David. So I get this token, but we're not going to look at it till the end of the game. So it's points. And then... Uh, oh, jeez. No end then. Yeah, no end then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy. That's a, that's a doozy. I don't think that's going to happen. How about that one? I do have to say, it does help for... for quick look the when they give you the color of the yeah. the continents that you're looking at because sometimes I'm like I know it but then it's throwing me off and I'm like okay so it's good just quick glance I like that uh, right something else you know like something else something else worth mentioning you know we had like all yellow and the uh the pool of um I forget what they call these track cards whatever mm -hmm. they're called yep yep the, the yeah um that's actually okay because they give you something that you can do with those. If you take two, if you have two of the same color, uh, you can do one of these journey cards. She's used one to gain extra points. Uh, the other one lets us move up to four spaces and then take two cards from the deck. Yep. So, or draw two from the top. So I could just take two yellow, be like, you know what? I don't particularly care about these, but right. these are going to let me move four. And then I can just throw them away to and get two off the top of the deck, which will probably be better. So, exactly. Um, I feel like that makes it a little bit better in Ticket to Ride in that. You know, sometimes that board just gets static. Like you just have like those cards are there. Nobody wants them. Nobody takes them. Everybody's just drawn off the top of the deck trying to get lucky because they don't want to take one of those cards. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas here you actually have an op there's something that you can do uh, with those that they all have to be the same color. All right. Yeah, absolutely. OK, so your go. And just so people like don't think I was very clear or even said it to end uh, the end game tri triggers. That's nice because it's on the board. The fifth region bonus tile is claimed. So region is one of those tiles I collected for getting the last cube there. And the player mm -hmm. or the player collects five destination cards, which are these large ones. So, yeah, a little ways to go, but it goes pretty quickly. Right. OK, to your go. Oh, I thought you went. I know I. No, I, I I did go. Did you go since I took? Oh, okay. Remember, I just went and I got the token for completing the taking the last. Man, time. I'm, having, I'm having such a great time. I, I didn't even notice. David, I'm the one who's <laughs> tired. Okay. <laughs> I had coffee. I don't know what's going on. Um, uh, let's see. I need to actually maybe not go that direction. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but, oh, wait, no, I'm in your way. <laughs> uh, Are, you right. though? So, Are you though? <laughs> well, for going the way I was thinking, I was, I was like, wait a minute, she's my way. And I'm like, no, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm in just her picking way. up random cards, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> okay. You don't get points for that at the end. I'm no, just, you don't. Do <laughs> I just, okay. I like keeping my <laughs> options open. Just keeping them open. Sure, sure. Um, Maybe I won't do that then. I will. Although... Actually, no, you are in my way. I take it back. <laughs> oh, no. I take it back. What, uh... I did not choose wisely, I see. Do I really want to do that? I don't think I really want to do that. All right, I don't really... I don't. Okay, I don't really have a choice, actually. So, 
because uh, well, I'm in a weird spot, right? I can only go north or south. Yeah. And I can't go north because you're there, so I basically have to go south. So I will spend a purple one. Okay. You're going to here, Jama Elfina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't particularly want to red. So you're getting but... a red. Well, okay, I was gonna say you got the red. Oh, I know, but I need to step it up though, if that's the case. Sure. Well, I mean, that, that gives me points anyway. Something I was starting to say earlier was that for every cube that you get, uh, you get progressive points. Your first is three, and then six, yeah, ten, and fifteen. Which so. is really nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So I am there. I am going to uh, let me take a yellow one, please. A yellow one done, and we'll fill that back up. All right. There you go. And. No, I'll take another. I'll take another yellow one. Okay, there you go. Done and done. Lots of ones. I swear we're gonna have a turn where there's like. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be creeping around the globe. That that should, that'll be the uh, yeah. Exactly, exactly. I gotta scooch myself on this side so people can actually see things. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now. Yeah, I had a plan. Don't know what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna spend three. So there's three blue cards to go. One, two, sorry, to Niagara Falls, three. So technically mm -hmm. we're supposed to call it out, um, which is also good for the stream. Um, in my head it's okay. there, but we're supposed to, in the game, you're supposed to call out where you're going. So, right. And I wonder if that's like, a, is it like deep sea adventure? Like if you say that you're, if you don't say that you're turning back, you have to go deeper, <laughs> even though you might die. It's one of those things yeah, where, well, oh, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little different, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm curious. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that mean, though, of course. Um, no. Okay, so I'm not really in a place where I could do much. I will actually take a green one. Uh, some of the ones are good, and I'm finding ones are being helpful for me lately. Although that's not what I want. No, 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 no. I will you actually... You have three blue? Sorry? You have three blue? I'm looking at your uh, your board there. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was like, what? I thought you were talking about cards. I'm like, are you seeing my cards? And no, I'll take no, no, this no, other I'm green. I'm sorry, I, I should have said cubes. The other three blue uh, <laughs> okay. souvenirs. I was like, what's happening? Okay, I'm done. Okay. Uh, all right. So... I unplugged my phone with uh, because the cord was driving me crazy. That's what make it, was making it crooked. So now I'm paranoid that it's going to run out of batteries. <laughs> I use a phone when I do Marvel Champions, so I totally get that. It's like, and it's an older phone too, so I'm like, oh god, please don't die in the middle right. of the stream. Mine's pretty good. I think I have about an hour, and then it's gonna be like, nope, sorry, bye. <laughs> um. All right. So since I basically announced my intentions last time, I'm gonna spend these two yellow ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am gonna do the B journey card, which is called Catch Me If You okay, Can. Okay. So let me swing uh, over there so people can actually see it. So it's the cool. one on the right there. Okay, so that's the move for draw two cards from the deck. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I think your volume got okay. cut there. There you go. Okay, uh, what I was saying was you could, um, what was I saying? Oh, there's a stack of uh, A and B cards, so it's different for every game. Uh, just adds a little bit of variability to uh, yes. your gameplay. These are the two that they recommend you start with. Right, uh, and they're very good, so it makes sense that uh, these are the two. Um, let me go to, let me get the name since, uh, just to keep it kosher. I'm going to move one, two, three, four to Angel Falls. Okay. So Angel Falls. Yep. One, two, three, four. And you get a blue mm -hmm. cube. I do. Um, I am going to definitely take that purple one. Okay. Uh, no. So you're doing, uh, are, are you doing the journey card? Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. So first yeah, you have to do your movement. Did you do your movement first? Yeah, I did do the movement. I, okay. I moved to Angel Falls. And so now I get two off the top. No, of no, 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 no. Did you do your movement action first? You have to move oh, right. first. Remember I did that last oh, night. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So. Actually, well, that sort of helps me a little bit. Okay. Kind so of, if you of, have a three, so... you can get rid of a three or did you want me to move you back? Um, I'll just, I'll spin my red too. So that would have actually... Put you two here. Uh, L'Ansoise Marahensis. Well, actually, it would have put me at uh, Praise the Redeemer. Because I had started in... Well, you moved three, right? Oh, okay. No, no. Two, well, 
Okay, now I'm confused. Let's, yeah, you, uh... moved, you moved three. So where would you before? Somewhere that let's, doesn't uh... have a cube. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, you were here. You were here. I was. Yeah, I was there. So yeah, let's so... roll it back. I'm actually going to keep the two yellows instead of doing the action. Okay. So what uh, movement would you like to take? So what happened uh, here, and this is what happened last night when we were trying to play this, this happened to me. You still have to do your movement. Journey log, which is the move that David was trying to do, is under the second part of your action. So you technically are moving right. twice. Right. Yeah, that was my mistake. Um, I will, So Okay, so for my movement, I am going to, well, I could just use the two yellows to move and then forget the journey thing. Okay. Uh, or uh, fine. All right, I'll do the uh, I'll do the red, and I'll move to to Christ the Redeemer. Okay. And I will take the yellow. Yep. Um, I'm there. Uh, well, because I want to be able to take that purple out of the thing too. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and take that purple out of the. Okay. Yep. Center. And we'll see here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I will take. But uh, I'll take one off the top of the deck, please. Yep. And there you go. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I, I'm assuming it's a one or maybe not the color of your dreams. Not quite sure. It was not the color of my dreams. Not the color of your dreams. Okay. So I'm yeah. actually going to... You're good? Yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to move to... Uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I miscalculated. Oh, no, I'm still good. Okay, I'm going to move to Yellowstone for two. So one, two. There is no cube on it because we're playing with two players, so there's no cube to start mm -hmm. with. And I'm spending two red to get there, so two red ones. They don't have to be the same okay. color. I'm just choosing to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah. So I'm at Yellowstone, so now I'm going to do the action where... Was it? I'm taking a track. What is it called? It is take a tour. I would say take a track. I'm going to spend my three green cards. And you guessed it. I'm taking a tour through Yellowstone National Park. And Ooh, we'll take that one. Points. 20 big ones. Very I don't nice. get any bonus points, but 20 big ones is uh, pretty, pretty sweet. Good. So let's do that. Uh, Chichen Itza is going to slide down. And Timbuktu comes off the top. So there you go. Of course. All right. And that's it. I am done. Okay, not a bad turn. I'm all right with that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> That's perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Like, what is happening? Uh, I'm going to spin one to move back to Timbuktu. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's garbage. <laughs> I'm you get a blue, you're, so you get your blue cube that you kind of lost, and I'm assuming you want Timbuktu. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a yellow and a purple All in right. my hand. All right, there so. you go. So you get, oh my goodness, getting very close to. Uh, he's at three cards. Oh my goodness. I have a three. Now they're not very high point cards, but doesn't I matter. My yeah. And the next card that's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna try and pronounce this. Zhang Xiaji. Zhang Xiaji. I think I said that right. If I'm wrong, oh, it's on the back. Hold on. Zhang. Oh my goodness! Yes, I got it right! Zhang Jiaji. <laughs> uh, uh. Sorry, I'm very excited about this. So, <laughs> so me meanwhile, while you're doing that, I have these in alphabetical order, and I'm thinking, oh god, don't make me ask what that begins with. Oh, sorry. But I, fi I figured it's it out. It's a Z. I it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that was uh, your go. Is your turn done? I will, I will totally accept that I 100% locked into that. I had exactly what I needed to move over and like grab that. Listen, hey, that, do you got to do you? So, and uh, yeah, Herbert yeah. saying you've got a plan. Yes, apparently there was a impromptu plan that occurred there. <laughs> yeah, but I got a little diverted from my original plan, but uh, that's okay. I'll, oh, I'll take those points. No shame in the game, I tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I have one card in my hand, which means I have to move, use it to move, and it's a three. I just need mm -hmm. to determine where. So I have to figure out where that is, and then I will let you know. Okay, I've... No, that's not great. I could do that. Okay, you know what? Now I have a plan now because I can actually see where I want to go next, although I want to kind of stay where I am. So I'm actually going to use my three to go to National Mall 
So one, okay. two, three. Oops, three. There's no, uh, sorry. One, two, three. So I get the white cube. I was always looking at points. I don't have any white, but three points, whatever. So I got to discard yeah. that. And I'm in this position. I have no cards. Uh, but, 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 I'm going to... I'm going to take this yellow one. Turn into a chicken? Yeah, a chicken, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bah, 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 bah. And I'm going to take... I'll take one off the top. Yeah, that's... Oh, gosh, that did not go the way I would have liked. I'm done. Your turn. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, same thing. I only have one card in my hand. is a yellow one. Uh, I have to spend that. Um, I will move. Oh, God. Uh, no, that's fine. I'll move back to Christ the Redeemer. Okay, so down here for one. Yep. And I should probably take some cards. Let's take that uh, blue three. It seems good. Yep, I think that's pretty pretty good. Uh huh. A red two, eh? Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let me let me let me do some counting here. Herbert, you have not even heard the sound effects. This is like the middle. Wait until we play another game of Now That I Know You All. Wait until we play more <laughs> Forgotten Waters. Oh, I, I got a whole bank of them. <laughs> I should just record a session where she plays Destiny and then make a soundboard. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Oh, it's so bad with Destiny, especially when they scare me. I'm like, oh, oh there's a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not this with the controller, you know, on the movies where people are using the controller, acting all weird. No, instead yeah. I'm just very vocal. Okay, sorry, Dave. <laughs> um... That's to totally fine, totally fine. I will take one off of the top, please. Okay, so there you are. Mm, okay. Okay. I don't hate it. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> yep. And uh, was that it or no? Did you have another one to take? Uh, I already took the uh, Oh, you the took the other one. Okay, that yes, you did. Yeah. You did. Oh, I forgot. All right, so now I got to totally move... Although this is like not the thing of my dreams right now, but whatever. I'm going to move one to old Havana. So I'm going to spend, isn't there a song called Havana? Havana. Yeah. Havana. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It sounded familiar. I <laughs> get a blue cube for that. Woo. Big points. And yeah, that's a poop -a loop Yikes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> i'm gonna drop from the top yes and i need another one from the top <sighs> come on come on come on okay well one out of two is not bad all right here we go done poop a loop everybody yes poop, -a -loop. poop a loop <laughs> 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 thank you tracy for that one love it <laughs> yeah uh all right no why are you there <laughs> uh, what why are you there? that's so messed up <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you are so not sorry. I'm not, actually. You're not at all. <laughs> that oh, was my man. Canadian sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so dirty. Why are you there? <laughs> yeah, son of a biscuit's oh. my fun. It's my favorite. And I have to come up with these things because, I mean, I'm on the dice tower, right? And I'll be honest, I have a bit of a potty mouth, so I have to find other food-related items to not swear. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just, you know, so that's all. Son of a Biscuit is a good one. I had a, a teacher in high school, and his name was Mr. Ferguson. And I'm Catholic, right? So I went to Catholic school. <laughs> and some of the things he would say, we'd say something or something would surprise him. Thundering Moses! And he wore polyester suits from the 70s. Like, he, oh, Mr. Ferguson, you were you were That's the epic. best. <laughs> so good. Pook says, uh, Poopa Loopas are the less pleasant, less well-known cousins <laughs> of the Oopa Loopas. <laughs> right? How did you know? <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> That's amazing. That is funny. <laughs> Oh goodness! Uh, okay, I digress. Uh, let's let's be let's be serious. So trucking the world. Here. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> serious overplaying. So I, I have to say this this is a fairly short game. So we're we're kind of cutting up a little bit more than we would be able to with something like uh, oh yeah, you know, for paladins. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna move three. I will actually move to the Galapagos Islands. Galapagos. 
Galapagos. Another place I would really like to go to. So one, two, Absolutely. three. I've never been. Would love to go. There we go. So you got a white cube for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, just moving there alone, the other souvenir gives me five points. So why not? Right. Well, and this is it. Um, That's why those are not bad to focus on as well. Right. Uh, I am going to take that red two, please. The red two. Hello, Russ. Thank you for joining. Hey, Russ. How's it going? And we had a great game of detective yesterday. In my heart, we still won, even though the game said we did win. Technically, we did win. Okay, go ahead and watch it. You guys it. totally won. Uh, right? As a viewer, as a viewer, I thought you guys totally we won. We totally game. like spoke it out. I, we literally said what the answer was. I mean, maybe one little thing was off, but for the most part, we got it. So go check it out on Chits and Giggles on the Twitch, and it's good. So and. Um, I saw something here. Oh, Pook said, that teacher sounds straight out of a Wes Anderson movie. Love it. Yeah, Mr. Ferguson. I, if I can find a picture somewhere, I will post it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'll take the red one as well. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at that red too. Hey, it's calling my name. All right. Mm. Well, maybe not. We'll see in a minute. Okay. So... <laughs> Because I have one. Okay, I don't want to use that, and I don't want to use that, which leaves me with this, which I'm not mad at, actually. So I'm going to spend, I'm going to be moving to uh, Teotihuacan. So I'm going to spend this fantastic two to do so. One, sure. two. And get a white cube. And don't worry, Teotihuacan is uh, safe over there. And uh, I'm gonna take the two from the display. Fill that back up. Who says I'm working on? Who says I'm working on that? Mm-hmm. I'm there though, so <laughs> you might have to wait a little while. And uh, uh. I need to take one more card. D -d 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 -d. Which one do I want? I don't like any of those options. So I'm gonna take one off the top. That is so, acceptable. Okay. We probably should have asked this a while ago, but uh, is our sound balance okay? Do we sound alright? Am I too loud? I Trust me, loudly. this chat, David, will tell you. Yeah. So we'll you don't you know. even. Okay. You okay. don't even. Have, Amanda Panda's in there. I think Mikhail, Mikhail's around there somewhere. And this is not a, a slight. This is a great thing. They will 100% tell us if we are awful in sound, if we can't hear you. <laughs> See, Amanda Panda's on it. See, sounds good. I already know. Amanda, I, I already okay. know. Okay. Because I, I know right. you, got, you, sure. got, you, got, sure. you got us. You got us. <laughs> I laugh very loud and my microphone is like, oh, right that's okay. Next to my face, I, I so. knew that already, so I turned it down a little bit. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh loudly too, hence the reason my microphone is really far from my face. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. All right. Uh, I am going to. See, it's loud on me. Exactly. Because I'm like extra loud. See, but that's good. I'm going to do. Oh, and you know what? It slipped up to the top. So look at that. I had us both on the. Same point, and it moved. Yeah. Look at that. Now I bet you it's better. Cool. All right. Thanks, we'll Chad. We'll see. Good thing, good, good thing I threw that in. Uh, I am going to play this red, too. Um, I'm going to go to the airport there in uh, South America. Okay. One, two. Yep. Um, ugh. Let me take uh, one off the top, please. Okay. See, sound is perfect. Parfait. Thank you, Russ, for checking that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. Got a little, got a little excited there. What? <laughs> As I say in French, quoi? Okay. I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'm gonna take the yellow one, please. Okay. And just so you know, <laughs> my BFFs. Have is um, Chilena, so some of the sayings, oh my goodness, like for the longest time when I went to visit Chile, I think I came back uh -huh. saying, oh my gato, and for anybody who speaks Spanish, <laughs> gato, actually, it's a, cat. it's a cat, so I literally was going around, <laughs> oh my cat, I actually spoke pretty decent Spanish, but I don't know why <laughs> that I found very hilarious, so anyway, excellent. Um, that's my little story about Chile, okay, <laughs> I liked it. I listened to it again. Right, exactly. <laughs> it was a good trip. I dated Mr. Chile for a while and, uh, you know, got to learn some fun uh, new words, meet some fun people, and then I was very sad to come back. <laughs> I keep hearing, like, these little snippets of stories. Like, we never figure out who this uh, sports okay, person we're, was. Okay, we are he... not going there. That is... <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we're back to me now. All right, uh, moving on. So, uh, 
<laughs> oh goodness. I will. I need a Chat minute. Chat never forgets. Yeah, exactly. I have to move? Well, this is garbage. I don't want to move. How about that? Jerk. All right, I'm going to move two. Did you just call me a jerk? No, no. <laughs> I was talking to the card. I was saying to the card, look oh, okay. you did, you little jerk. And I'm going to move two, which is really garbage because, sorry, to Yellowstone, because there's no cube there. And I will, in <laughs> fact, <laughs> I'm so annoyed right now by that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this green three from the center, and I'm going to draw one off the top. Uh, uh, no, I'm actually, no. Okay, I'll take this one. I'll take the red one. I think Jeremy has a wonderful idea. He says, uh, Mandy Storytime Podcast coming soon. <laughs> yeah, that, that might have a rating on it, so <laughs> we, we might have to leave that for what I'm not doing board game content anymore. <laughs> Oh, the stories I could tell. All right. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to spend... Well, I'm, first of all, I'm going to move to the North American airport. Okay. Yoink. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend a yellow one mm -hmm. to move to Teotihuacan. And look at that. I have a purple and a red in my hand. I'm going to take a tour, uh, pay the necessary cards, as you can see. Yeah. So two, and you got a five-pointer for that? I do. I can't believe you moved there. I'm so annoyed with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed with you. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on. I'm... Well, I almost said I'm sorry, but then I'd be lying. Exactly. And, I, I don't, do and don't lie, because exactly. So <laughs> Taj Mahal. Okay, so all these are coming down. Actually, I'm not mad at you, actually, now that I think about it. Serengeti. Ooh, the Serengeti comes out. Hey, hey. Oh, and I, look at it. Okay, instant song came into my head. So, Russ, remember we were talking about songs? So the Serengeti comes out. On the bottom of the card are, are green planes. Think of what song comes to mind. And down the plane, down in Africa. Come on. That's exactly what I thought of when that came out. Very excited. Very excited. Uh, <laughs> okay. Great. Now chat's calling me a jerk. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Home Alone. So it came out and it came out like I was talking to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Well, am I sorry? No. Son of a biscuit. Okay, hold on now. Hold. No, I can't. I'd, I'd like to point out I'm at four out of five. Okay. You kind of <laughs> screwed me right now. Oh, my goodness. I can't. Oh. I can't. Like, I don't know how many times I can, like, math this out. It's just not possible. <laughs> oh, sucky do. All right, so let's do this. Okay, well, let's. How can I make this worth my while? See, I don't want to do that because then you'll do that, and then I'll be really annoyed if you if that happens. So, if I do that, I will say I only have one card in my hand, which I'm going to have to use to move next turn. Yeah, but it's the number that matters. <laughs> That's true. If I go, Herbert says, "Complete with Mandy sound effects will be like an old timey radio show." <laughs> I love it, old timey. It's right up my alley. Okay, I'm gonna spend a th da, da, no. I'm gonna spend a one, red. I'm very upset by this. By the way, this is not my plan. And I'm gonna move up to Banff. Woo! I've been to Banff. Fantastic and fun. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna have to pull two cards because, well, just because, and I'm not happy about it. Let's just be clear, at all. So I'm gonna draw this. Yeah, see, that could be a problem. I almost want to do that because I have this, but it could be a problem. So I'm actually going to draw this yellow too. And, oh, that's nice too, though. Saki do. And I'll take a purple one. There's a plan here. It's just taking me a while to get to it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Amanda, you like Banff too? It's so nice. I'm Unfortunately, I used to live close to Banff, and um, 
I wasn't snowboarding then. So I would love to go back and snowboard. It'd be amazing. Although, honestly, this COVID thing, I don't even know if my snowboarding uh, equipment will even fit me because, well, you know, I haven't been as active as I usually am. Okay, I digress. David, what's up? Very thinking. Play the card. I need to know. Play the card. Is it a one? Oh, thank goodness. Woo! Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and I'm okay with whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Like a two, I could have made. Well, no, it wouldn't make any difference. It's okay, dude. Just play it. Come on. You know, you can't do anything. <laughs> Listen to you cackling at my uh, misfortune. I know, I feel That's like so the up. witches in Macbeth. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn <laughs> and cauldron bubble. <laughs> All right, Poop. Poop, thanks for joining us. Uh, but we were we were glad to have you here. Yes, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Uh, where is... Well, while you're thinking, everybody can give me their favorite Shakespeare quote. I love Shakespeare. I really... Hamlet, I kid you not. Hamlet and Macbeth were... Some of my favorites. And like it took me forever to realize something's rotten in the state of Denmark. Didn't know that came from Shakespeare. Hello. Three. Anyway. Wait a minute. Where is that? Throw me your favorite Shakespeare uh, line. I'm here for it. There are some Shakespeare plays I have not read. Like, believe it or not, I have not read Twelfth Night. I have the audiobook. I've been meaning to do it. It's next on my list. Othello is another one I really want to listen to. I'm a bit behind. I'm a bit behind. What's your favorite Shakespeare I'm play? Uh, I was in Hamlet. Well, I was also in Romeo and Juliet. So, okay. I mean, those are kind of like those are kind of boring, but no, not it's boring, not boring at all. I, I I just mean like it's not like one of his. Uh, I mean, those are like his two most like well known, right? Well, so. it's the ones that are in a lot of uh, curriculums, right? Like in school, we had to read Romeo and Juliet. That's the one I think most people have to read. Um, Macbeth and Hamlet were also ones I had to read, but I loved it. Twelfth Night was on the reading list, but it wasn't for our class. But it's one I really look like I would enjoy. So, and yeah. they've made a lot of these into movies. So yeah, it's true. Watch them. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. What were you going to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to move. So I'm going to go to the terracotta army. So I'm going to go up one and then across the ocean there. Uh, Hold on. I'm not seeing it. Where I'm in. T I'm in Teotihuacan. Yes. And where do you want to go? I want to go to terracotta army, which is over in Asia. I'm going to take that little path across the ocean. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you're moving one, two, three. How many are you moving? Holy moly. No, 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 no. I'm moving one north to Grand Canyon. Okay, you got to do it in steps, David. Steps. Okay, so Grand right. Canyon, and then you're doing the Mount Fuji, so that's one. I'm doing the Mount Fuji thing, yeah. So one and to Grand going... Canyon, and then two to here. Right, and then and I'm then going to, three to Terracotta, Terracotta Army. Oh, okay, so there you go. So for those who didn't know, that's why I was a bit confused. Um, on the sides here, <laughs> it's kind of like Clank. You can uh, use it to kind of circle the board so they let you know where you can end up. Right. Yeah, a fellow, Jeremy, right? That's what I haven't read, but geez, I need to do it. And I think Lawrence Fishburne, there was a movie, and I'm pretty sure Lawrence Fishburne was the lead. I could be wrong on that. Was it? I'm pretty sure, but correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, it's on my list. I want to read it. Obviously, I read it, and then I watch the movies. I really liked The Hamlet until, you know, Mel Gibson was a jerk. So, yeah, you know, that kind of ruined it for does, me, the movie. That does ruin it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, is it my go? Um, uh, no, I'm going to take a the blue one. Yeah, either blue one. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will take uh, uh, I need more cards in hand oh I love Russ I'm glad I like you use Clank as a reference to wrapping around and not the more obvious pandemic so uh, David said pandemic let me tell you a little secret I've never played pandemic <laughs> you've never played pandemic it's ever? not my type of game so to be fair, I've played Cthulhu version, which was fantastic because I had someone who was doing it who kind of ran RPGs and stuff. So they really right. immersed. I loved it. And then I played um, Pandemic. Oh, what's it called? The board was really dry looking. Um, uh, Z really likes it. No, I heard that one was actually really good. Oh, my goodness. What was it called? It was really gray. It was, oh, what's it called? Eric taught it to me. And he did a great job teaching it. It's just Pandemic is just not my kind of game. Yeah, Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, I will take the, 
I'll take the yellow one. Okay, the yellow one. I'm on. A, I'm on like this like major tangent here, but I don't know. Now we've got Shakespeare. I'm onto so many things, but I still see no. Okay, Othello's in there. Who else? Come on, I know you all have read a little Shakespeare. Uh, as I'm shaming you, I'm not. I'm really not. If you haven't, it's totally okay. <laughs> How about a Shakespeare that you would like to read? That could be a good question. Um, okay, so I need to get to there. Uh huh. Wait, where am I going? I can't even. Ugh. Oh, I did that so wrong. Was it Rising Tide, maybe? Rising Tide. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that. That one is very boring looking. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, and I get it, and I see why people like it. It's just not my jam. Well, that's totally fine. Hey, different strokes for different you, folks. You might actually like the... Uh, I did hear Iberia like, was good, though, and I heard that the Pandemic Legacy games are quite good, so I'm going to spend four well, by the way gonna, to move. I was going to say the, uh, the what is it, the um, the Rome one. The uh, It's like Fall of Rome or something like that. Yeah. Uh, where you have like you know the 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 horde sort of like coming in and attacking instead of you know like the pandemic and you're deploying like soldiers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'd enjoy that more. I don't know. Probably not. But okay, good to know. I mean, I'm willing to try it. So yeah. Uh, okay, I made it to Chichen Itza, so I'm gonna spend the two purple and the yellow to get Chichen Itza plus three points because it's in the spot of my dreams. Oh, this is actually shaping up to be quite nice, so I'm not mad at it. And then that's going to slide down. And the new one coming off the top is Fisherman's Bastion. And that's it. Okay, so while you're doing that, let me see the chat. I've been seeing lots of things here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Herbert says, A few years ago, I went to Chicago to see the Terracotta Warriors exhibit at the Natural History Museum. It was amazing. <gasps> I would love that. It looks so cool. Um, and I would love to see that in person. I didn't know that's where... It was, so that's great to know. Thank you for that. I'll add it to my list of places I'd like to visit. Uh, chits and giggles. Oh, I mean, fair. I think I might have played it once, but Legacy, I'm one and a half seasons in. Okay, I know about a lot of games I've never played, like Forbidden Series. I haven't played those either. It, certain types of games are just, I'm sure they're fine, and I have nothing against them. I just, my, my eyes and feelings gravitate toward different types of games. And I'm one of those people, if it's one of those things that everybody's played, I'm kind of like, well, I want to try something different. Not to say it's bad, and I will get to it eventually. I'm going to throw out a hot take for you guys. Well, let me, let me first, let's just, I'll just say, I think Pandemic is okay. It's fine. It's a it's a co-op. It's kind of a, it, it's sort of like the template that so many other co-ops have used successfully, unsuccessfully, depending on what game you're talking about. Whatever, fine. My hot take is, so me and Jen actually played uh, Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Mm-hmm. That experience is so overrated in general. I mean, it was fine, but like I felt like the story that gets told is so predictable. I mean, there's only so many ways you can go with an outbreak story, right? And there was only like maybe one or two spots where I was like, oh, that was actually interesting. I thought the majority of it was just kind of run of the mill outbreak, similar style things. It's like, you know, you watch a you know TV show or movie, like it played out almost exactly the way you'd expect it to. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like there wasn't really any surprises. I need surprises to really call something like fantastic. Oh, so absolutely. Totally. Totally. I might get burned at the stake for that. I, I thought I thought Legacy Season One was overrated. And we haven't we haven't played the other ones yet because you know. Oh, I might I do mean, zero with Suzanne. We'll see. I'm 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 trying to plug we're gonna be playing sleep after we're done this stream, actually. They're patiently waiting for me. We're gonna play Sleeping Gods. Uh so I'm curious to see how that plays. Oh nice. Mm -hmm. Um all right, well let's get cracking then so you can uh Oh no, that wasn't to rush your... you. No, no, they knew that I was doing this. It was just to, if in case okay. they're watching, I didn't forget. <laughs> well, they're watching. Hello. Uh so I played a yellow one. I'm gonna move back to Mount uh Fiji? Uh, yeah. So I can take that red cube. Yep. Uh, four points. I'll take it. Listen, yeah, do you. And uh, uh, I am going to take the green two. Yep. Okay. And I will go ahead and take that uh, purple three. Okay. And the red three comes out. Okay, cool. Well, my turn's going to be very fast. So I'm actually going to uh, move to a Grand Canyon. So I'm going to spend my two, mm -hmm. which then finishes off North America. And you definitely this. got a lot of those. Uh, 
my two. I think you had more last time, which was really interesting. I can't do anything else. I'm yeah. just going to draw two cards. So let me look. Because if David gets one more card, it's game over. So uh, let's see if I can quickly do something. So let's see what I have available. Let's take this red three. And let's take the, wow, the blue one. Okay, there you go. So while David's playing his turn, I'm gonna look at the chat because I know there's a few things that I missed. So sorry, but you go ahead. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do look at the chat here. Um, sure. Uh, well, I, I I gotta move. So. Yeah. Okay. Where are you gonna move? Tell me. Yep. Uh, I'll go, yep. Green two. I'm gonna move over to. Uh, Kremlin and red square. Sorry. Repeat that. It cut out there for a minute. Uh, I'm moving two spaces. I'm going to Kremlin and red square, uh, which is west two oh, spots. Yep. From where I I see it. Yep. Right there. And you get a yellow I am going to take that, which gives me no points, but you won't take it from me anytime soon. No, that's a, yeah, there's there's no hope of that happening. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to clean out maybe Asia before I finish the game. So Yeah, no, that'll be good. A good yeah. extra points. So I see some people have not read Shakespeare. No shame in that. It's not for everybody. And maybe some people didn't read it in school. So no, not at all. If there's one that you're interested in, or maybe not, that'd be cool to know. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Ah, yeah, to be or not to be, to be or not to be. That is the question. I think it's uh, follows by "tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of misfortune." I think that's the next line. See, and my memory is horrible. ADHD does bad things to remember your memory, but funny enough, I can remember Shakespeare. Go figure. <laughs> and as for, I think Russ was saying, uh, shits and giggles was saying. Um, like uh, Charterstone was uh, their favorite legacy. I didn't love Charterstone. I don't know why. I just felt like it was once you were losing, it was really hard to kind of get. And I don't care that I lose. Like, that's not even a big deal. But sure. it was really hard to kind of even get a win. Like, I found when I played my city, I could get a few wins in there. Made me feel good about myself. <laughs> and then, mm -hmm. you know, I ended like I didn't win, but I still I still felt like there was a way to maybe get ahead. And I didn't feel that in Charterstone. And then it became a little monotonous for me, but I understand why people would like it. If that makes any sense. Is it my go, David? So I'll let you do your thing. You can talk while they Well, go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm taking cars next. So okay. I'm going to take that uh, red two. Okay. And depending on what comes out, uh, I'll take the yellow two. Okay. And sorry. Yeah. And then you go ahead and chat and I'll do my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. No games I've played so far. I met my bar. A great narrative game. Yes. Yes, I agree with that a thousand times. I feel like we need really good writers, like really good writers in tabletop right now. I feel like a lot of them go towards RPGs, which makes sense because that's where you want a good story. But I feel like, you know, your legacy games, your campaign style games, these stories are just so bland and derivative like i i want something like I, I want like a really good quality story um in board game form and i feel like we haven't really gotten that yet i know that's some people might disagree with that but just from what i've played i just haven't seen it okay there you go your go so i moved all right to an airport location and just grabbed two cards okay uh And while you're thinking there. I think you, yeah. I think you moved me too far. Oh my gosh, I moved you completely. <laughs> I moved <laughs> you. <laughs> I was like, where did I go? Sorry, that was totally me. I'm actually over here. So I moved three. Yeah. Let me rewind this for a second. Sorry, I didn't take sure. cubes or anything. <laughs> that makes okay. way more sense now. Um, one, <laughs> two, three. I'm going to move to Old Havana. I'm so sorry. And I believe you were here. Okay, there you go. See? Problem solved. It's good. Right. <laughs> sorry right. about that. Totally fine. Uh, all right. So what am I going to play? I am going to play a... Hold on. How many spaces away am I? Now you're thinking that. Sleeping oh, Gods. Oh, no. Sleeping Gods is really good. Like, I've played a little bit of it with Suzanne at a convention, and I really liked what I saw. I thought it was a little... It could get a little mean, but not horribly mean if i'm remembering correctly so because i don't love like super aggressively mean games and it wasn't that um but i do like uh red raven games so i'm curious to see how this plays out we're going to try today virtually two of the three of us have copies so we'll see how this uh pans out but um but charterstone i get it i totally see why people like it it just wasn't for me sorry david what I'm would you like play. to play oh. no no it's only fine we gotta we have to interact with chat they're here for us so mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta Absolutely. talk to them 
Uh, I'm going to play a yellow two. Okay. I am going to move down to uh, my core palace. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, you're moving. I'm oh, moving yeah. two my, south oh, yeah. of my core palace. My sore? My sore palace? My sore, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. So one, my two. Yep. Yeah. No problem. So I am there. Uh, I am going to take that red three for sure. Okay. So the red three, yep. Yeah. And hold on, let me look at my hand. Uh, what am I doing? I need, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. So let me grab the blue too. Okay. Excellent news. There you go. Just so you know, David will be the one finishing this game. <laughs> it won't be me. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm too off. You still, you, yeah, you will, you only need one more. So. All right. So well, you're, I have to. You're I have to say, you kicked my butt sideways at Paladins of the uh, West Kingdom. Yeah, but that, and, to be fair, I'm actually pretty decent at the game, and I didn't tell you that in advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that honestly, that was only my second full game of ever playing it. So there you go. Um, exactly. Like I've yeah. played it quite a few times. So I'm gonna move one here. You're done, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna move to Angel Falls. Get this blue cube, which is excessive. I don't need it, but I gotta move, and I'm gonna draw two cards. So with that being said, I'm going to draw this green one. And I will take this yellow one. Okay, all you. We're like getting to the end. I'm like, my phone, please don't die. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how to count. I'm an idiot. Ruh row. <laughs> no, all right, that's fine. That's fine. I got this. I got this. It's totally fine. I am going to move two okay to go to uh zhang zhang you can say it say Zhe? it you can, keep going you're good Zhe? try it zhang uh G, uh jia G? yeah you got it zhang uh, jia G. you okay. got it no you got it that's awesome all right all right no seriously like not, that's really hard for some people so the fact that you did it and you tried it and it was good hey we're all about it so there you go and you get a white cube and i get that region bonus Oh, you certainly do. Look at you go. <laughs> go, go, David Ranger. Okay. What again? <laughs> oh, you want to see it? I didn't look at mine. I was going to wait till the uh, end of game. Uh, oh, well, I have to know. I, I have to know what to set aside, right? Sure, but I can just show you when I score. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> She'll sort of like, she'll look at him and then she'll mix like, you know, the lowest no, point. No, oh, I swear, David. people are seeing my hands. I swear. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, 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 I trust. You. I know, I, trust I know. You. I'm just messing. Okay. So let me know uh, um, what else you need me to do. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some cards. Uh, actually, it doesn't particularly matter. I'll take a blue one. Okay. Um, sure, I'll take the green two. Okay. Oh, that deck's getting low. All right. It is. I think we just reshuffled uh, uh, the discards, but you can let me know if I'm incorrect on that because we never got to that point. So. Oh, we weren't. We are getting that far. Oh, okay. Well, oh, son of a biscuit. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd have two turns to make where I needed to go, and I just realized it's not gonna happen today. Boo. Oh man. Yeah, I need at That's least right. two turns to get there. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Go, go, David Ranger. Yeah, no, so, no. Don't go David Ranger anymore. Now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really mad. I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, if you're going to end it, then pff, I don't know why I'm even bothering. All right. So I'm going to spend three. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To move to Igasu Falls. So one, two, three to get that yellow cube. Might as well get some points while I'm at it. And sure. uh, oh, this is so upsetting. Uh well, whatevs. I'll just draw off the top. Mind you, there's no point in me drawing cards, is there? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually going to I'm gonna end it this turn. Well, so. let me just move. Okay, then I'll spend two cards of the same. It actually really doesn't matter, but I might as well give it a go. So I'm, been, I'm doing the journey log where I can move up to four. So I'm spending two green to move up to four. The reason why I'm doing that is I might as well get cubes while I'm at it. So... Let's do one, two, one more, and I could have cleared this whole area out. Son of a biscuit. And um, I get to draw two cards from the deck, which is fine. The deck is out. I'll just draw the one. There's no need because you're going to end it. <laughs> 
All right. I am going to play a blue one to move back to the Taj Mahal. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, um, that's such a good one, too. Just so I can be super dirty about it. Yeah. I'm going to play t- I'm going to play two reds to do the uh the journey exchange oh, or the uh there you know. Okay, so you've moved your one. Now you're doing the uh exchange rate. Yep. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm going to play since I don't need to play the red anymore cuz I I I can drop an icon. I'm going to play a purple and a blue. Yep. Yeah, and you're going to take Taj Mahal and you get additional 5 and you get an additional 3 points for doing the journey <laughs> log. No, I you know, that that's fine. That's fine. I'm not mad at all. Not mad at all. Okay. Well, <laughs> that actually ends the game. <laughs> it does. So, it does. This is not a long game at all. It is not. So what I'm going to do is, because I have to kind of add up stuff, so what I might do is switch us back to the other screen so you can chat while I score. Okay. Because okay, sure. it's really hard to see us on the screen, blah, blah, blah. So. Right. I just realized, does this come with, I have my score a scoring paper out, but I don't think this comes with a score pad, does it? Yes, it does. It does, yeah. Oh, all right. I know. I have so many games under my desk here. Like, don't laugh. It's a problem. It's a problem well, that I have. That, that's how I. That's how I figured out. Amazon sent me a used copy instead of a brand new one. Because <laughs> oh. somebody already the the score pad was already written on, and I'm like, oh come on. Yeah, that's so terrible. Oh, that's awful. That's so okay, great. let me switch us back to the main uh, scene here. There we go. So both of us are here. Let's wait till David pops back up. Oh, hold on. You're muted for some weird reason. Okay, talk now, David. Talk, 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 talk. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. So while you're doing that, I will score. So keep the chat busy while I do the maths. Uh, Tristan giggles. Yes, it was shrink wrapped, and I had, and the way it was shrink wrapped. I mean, I've I've been around games long enough to know like what a reshrink and what a the original shrink looks like. I had no reason to think that it, it was a reshrink. Uh, they did a very good job of wrapping it back up. Uh, I have a hard time believing it went all the way back to the original company and they sent it, you know, to the store that way. So not not cool, but uh, I need to get in touch with Amazon and get that sorted out. Yeah, I'd be annoyed. Uh, so a lot of people are talking about uh, Sleeping Gods. Uh, I did not back it. I really wanted to. I don't typically have a lot of time for campaign games. I have too many other games that I need to kind of get played right now. But uh, I think I will say I think Sleeping Gods looks pretty good. Near and far didn't quite do it for me, but I thought it was kind of a step in the right direction. Um, if he can sort of make, if Sleeping Gods is like the next iteration, I think that game is probably going to be very good. Um, so I'm, I would love to try it at some point, but uh, I, I was not willing to shell out the money for it. You don't have enough money to back Kickstarter campaigns. Totally fair. Um, I try not to do as many as I, I used to, but oh man. There's a certain ones that when they come by, and I'm like, oh, I got to grab that. Um, I wasn't going to get in too deep, which was up a couple months ago. Uh, but then Manny's like, oh, you should totally get it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <That's probably laughs> <what I did. laughs> yes. Oh, I'm calculating the sets for the souvenirs. It is different than I thought. Ho, 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 ho. You have to complete sets of cubes. So even though you got really far on one, I'll come back if my camera's still working, hopefully. I'll show you. Oh, it's not per lane. No, I know. I thought so, too. So let me head back to the game quickly while I'm – I think it's still working. Okay. So if you can see my board here, let me pull it up a little bit. There you go. So I have two yellow. I have five blue, five red, and three white. Mm -hmm. I've technically only gotten two full sets, but you do the highest level. So I only got six points. Wow. I just read that. I was just reading it, and it says in the example, Sheila collected three complete sets. At the end of the game, she received 17 victory points because she only got to the third, like the third set level. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm in the same boat then because I only got two blue. Yeah. So I think we're both uh, in the same. Yeah. We're in the same. Oh, I only had you at one blue. You have two blue? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Frosthaven. I mean, we have Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, which. To be fair, we really enjoyed and played a lot of. Uh, we haven't picked it back up in a while just because we were. I started streaming and you know we're playing other things, but uh, really enjoyed Jaws of Lion. That is the size campaign that I want. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind if they started doing like shorter campaign games. Give me something that only has, I don't know, eight sessions. 
it's going to be hard enough to do eight sessions and then just do little like micro. No! I don't mind having the mic. Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't like the idea of micro expansions or she doesn't like her score. One of the oh, other. no, wait till you. Uh, oh, I will show you in a second. It is actually very funny. I'm almost done. Sorry. Keep going. Okay. Um, Frost Haven and the original Gloomhaven, way too much for me. I'd never play it. I mean, I appreciate that so much content's in one box, right? That's great for some people. That's totally not what I need. I want Frost, Frost Haven. Hold on, mate. my arms are off screen here. Frost Haven, hold on. Okay, there we go. I almost had it. I almost had it. Frost Haven, I want this. I want something much smaller than that. <laughs> I'm actually curious too. <sighs> okay. Wow, wow, wow. OMG. So let's 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 break it down. I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm not gonna do it hockey style because it'll just be too crazy, but here we go. So the first okay. war was on destination cards, which are these large cards with the points on the bottom. We both got fifty six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we score the uh souvenir cards. We both got a total of eleven. Then we score the suitcase, so the one I just showed you, the scoring one we weren't sure about. We both got we both six. Yeah. <sighs> this is where it diverges. The tokens, so any tokens from cards, any tokens from, you know, getting uh, clearing out an area. David got 27. I got 21. You beat me by six points. You got an even 100, and I got 94. Nice. That is garbage. I demand a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Well done. You know, and that shows you how even it was, though. Right. I, I have to say, and I kind of noticed this last night, I think this game would work better with more people than two. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is what we have. I mean, this is fine. This is a fun game with two people. I'm definitely not knocking it at all. But um, when you have more people sort of competing for those spots. Um, also, I, you know, if we knew how the cube scored, would we have played differently? I think I probably would have. You know what? And I think I would have. And in my mind, I was thinking, oh, I'm getting so many points. And I'm like, and then if you really think about it, though, like what That'd that would have been, yeah. that would have been ridiculous. So it totally yeah. makes sense. But it does force you to be like, oh, great. I got my colors. I'm done. No, it forces you to at least push the other colors so you can complete the sets, which I actually like that instead of just yeah. really nilly getting points. No, you actually have to be careful how you're collecting your set. So, yeah, I, I do it, enjoy that. It, I enjoy that thematically. It's like, you know, you can't just you can't just get a whole bunch of postcards. You can't just yeah. get a bunch of whatever. You know, it's like you need the figurine, you gotta get the clothing, exactly. you gotta do all the know, things. A little, bit of, a little bit of everything during your adventure around the around the world. So I dig this game. I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think I like it's great. It. it comes off as very yeah. educational and people are like, how so? And I'm like, well, you're learning about geography. Geography was my one of my least favorite subjects in school. Um, and it's funny, growing up now, I'm like, oh, I want to know all the things. And this is kind of a fun way to incorporate it. So teachers out there, I totally think you could use this in the classroom or something along those lines, geography or even just other types of information about specific places. Like there are, we didn't read it, but there's a flavor text about each place on the back. So learning specifically about these yeah, places. I I just put one up towards my oh, camera. Okay. Kind of sees well, sort of some of the text there. The Logitech doesn't get fine detail very well, but um, but yeah, on the back there's you know flavor text, a little bit of information about each location. Uh, the art on the front, as I said before, fantastic. Yeah, some of the best I've ever seen, and I've been playing board games a long time now. Yeah, and uh, so. and then so oh there you go, so Herbert. Yeah, you were mentioning to me that you do uh, after school programs, and you you can see this in an after school program that you work at. So that's fantastic. I think it would be fun. Like it's it's light, sure, but for maybe you know kids maybe who don't play games or you just want to alleviate the boredom sometimes of school, right? Uh, this could be a fun way of still teaching them something, and you can kind of tweak it as you go. Like if I did it in the classroom and we were doing places, maybe I might focus on international places, and that kind of falls into your social studies, geography. So you're hitting on a few things um, with this kind of activity so just something to think about but even outside of school as a family activity uh i think this would be fun like my mom she plays games with me from time to time but oddly enough she likes lords of vegas which is like the most random thing and then patchwork and, and paperback <laughs> like it's all over the place but something like this i think she would like do you know what i mean it's it's enough to keep yeah. her interested but not over the top or she's like ah what's going on so i i, I like it i really do and I, I liked just the look of it and i isn't there another version of this game 
Uh, there is a trekking the national parks or something like that. Yeah, but I don't I don't know if it plays the same way. I I never picked that one up. No, I've heard uh, that people I've heard people say they like this one a little bit better. I have not played the other one, so I'm not really sure how it plays. But right, because um, that one came out around the same time that Parks did, uh, right. and right. Parks is fantastic. I love that game as well. Uh, just for something a little bit lighter. I actually I lean heavier uh, in terms of the games that like I really love. Like you know my top twenty five is you know, tends to lean, you know, a little higher, but I love these types of games too. Like you have to have games that you can sort of play with really anybody. Cause yeah. you know, you will have, you know, mom in her case, yeah. uh, or, you know, friends in our case, that, you know, maybe we have over and they don't really play a lot of games, but, uh, you know, you need something approachable. This is super approachable. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. not just, not just in the, the gameplay, but also like in the theme. And, uh, I'm really appreciating like, you know, travel, nature themes, stuff like that. Um, just cause, you know, we've had so much, I won't even touch that topic, but just, you know, a lot of things like in Renaissance era, mm -hmm. you know, Europe and just stuff like that. And, you know, that's fine, whatever, but, uh, it, it's nice to have something else to, you know, kind of, you know, look at and explore, uh, Absolutely. when you're at the table with other people. So. Yeah, no, I think it's good. And this can bring different types of people together, which I really appreciate. So, oh, I see Russ is gone. Thank you for joining. We appreciate you dropping in. I know everyone's working and doing things. And yes, Herbert, you can buy it as a wink, wink work purchase. I do those all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you got to test it out first, too. So don't forget. Right. <laughs> But um, right, yeah, right. so overall, I think we enjoyed this game. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a little light for some, but as you can see, we're also in a time right now where maybe you aren't playing with your regular game group and like myself, you know, maybe playing with people who gaming or heavier games is not kind of their thing. So this is something at least I can get games played and I'm happy to do it. Right. And like I said, I don't teach uh, children anymore in the classroom, but people who do might find some benefit in a game like this, especially virtually now you might even be able to incorporate some of the elements that way, just as a, as an idea. So that's it for me. Anything right. else you want to add, uh, David? Uh, well, you can always find me at uh, my Twitch channel is Eclectic Camel. Um, I'm currently streaming Sunday and Thursday. Uh, I drop Tuesdays because, you know, I'm doing a lot over here at the, for the time being. But uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, you can find me on Twitch at uh, Come Play LA. And uh, yeah, just give me a follow and uh, see what I'm up to. Very cool. So yes, thank you as always for joining in. We're probably going to make this a regular thing. So I'm still going to do my solo stuff. I've just been really busy. So I'll pick that up next week. But David and I will probably be doing a segment if we can once a week. We're going to try. We're in different time zones. So it does make it difficult. Um, we're going to try our best to do games like this actual physical tangible games virtually so you can see if you can also play it this way if you want. Um, and then uh, you know where to find me on Twitter, on Instagram, Board Gamer Pinup, Board Gamer Pinup Girl on Instagram. To die for games here, the Dice Tower. I'm all over Twitch, Salt and Sass games. I'm playing a lot of video games there, but uh, we'll be playing Borderlands cool. Three on Sunday, so that'll be fun. I think David is not joining us this week, but he will be back with us the following week. Uh, the next solo game I'm looking to play, I think I told you, was Maglev Metro, and I think after that we'll be doing. Um, oh, what's the one I told you I was playing, David? The the deck uh, the drafting one. I mentioned it to you yesterday, oh. and I said there's like a campaign for it, and you're like, I wanted wanted to try that. Oh, it's a wonderful world. Yes, yes, um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Memories not what it used to be. That's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing not the campaign of that, but the other expansion. That'll be the next one, and it's somewhere in between there, I'm supposed to be doing a game with Amanda Panda. If she's still there in the chat, Pax Pimir. So I think we're going to attempt to get that played soon because I would like to get that one to the table, hopefully within the next week or so. Uh, so Amanda, if you're still there. Let's nail down a date so we can get this played. If you're interested, let me know. If you're like, Mandy, we don't really want to see heavy games anymore, which I'd be very sad at, but lets me know what you're interested in. So there you go. So thanks to my lovely chat. As always, you are the bestest. And uh, thanks for putting up with my sound effects and, in, you know, being so awesome. And uh, <laughs> gotta, gotta appreciate the chat. And uh, yeah, so I think that'll end it for us. So uh, thanks, David. And we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye, everybody.